Welcome to the Diva Home and Lifestyle Podcast, where we discuss buying, selling, and investing in real estate, credit repair, housekeeping tips, DIY projects, gardening, and practical tips to help make your house a happy home. And now, here's your host, real estate diva, Brenda. Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening. This is Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title expert, and this is episode number seven. The topic for this episode is somewhat controversial and even a touchy subject for some folks. In fact, some people love it and some people absolutely hate it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about homeowner associations, also known as HOAs. But first, our quote of the episode um, is, never make a permanent decision when you are emotional. And I absolutely love this quote because it reminds me not to make a rational decision um, when you are emotional. Now, yes, home buying is an emotional journey, okay? But at the same time, you have to remember to remain rational, okay? Because listen, you cannot be irrational and emotional at the same time, okay? So you have to remain calm and think through the situation so that you can correctly problem solve, okay? Now listen, the seasons are changing. It is getting warmer outside. And let me tell you, I love being outdoors when the weather gets warmer, okay? And the thing about it is that I, listen, if you know me, I take my dogs with me just about everywhere, okay? But my biggest concern is my dogs getting overheated in the summertime. Well, the happy home hack for this episode um, is for you to use a shower cap. Yes, I said it, a shower cap as a travel dog bowl, right? So when you leave the house with your dogs, here's what I usually do. I always pack a snack and I always take bottles of water. I freeze it the night before and then I let them thaw out as we go through the day so that by the time we're ready to drink it, the water is thawed out, okay? So the suggestion is if you don't have bows that you keep in your car, um, you might want to, as an alternative, use a shower cap, the elastic shower cap, okay? And then you just kind of hold it up and then it will hold the water so that your dog can drink from the um, drink the water from the cap or eat the food. Isn't that great, guys? I love these happy home hacks. Okay, so question, what do you know about homeowner associations, also known as HOAs? Well, let's take a quiz and find out. True or false, HOA board members have a right to go onto your property. True or false, paying your HOA fees are not optional. They are as mandatory as paying your mortgage. True or false, an association can foreclose on your home. True or false, an association rules for one community may not be the same as that of a different community. True or false, HOA fees can increase. True or false, HOAs can tell you what you can and what you cannot do with your property. True or false, you could be held liable for to pay past dues, past HOA fees, I should say, even if you did not previously live in the home. Well, how did you do? Listen, if you answered true to all of these statements, you are absolutely correct. So what we're going to talk about today is what you need to know about homeowners associations before you purchase a home. An HOA is a self-governing organization in common interest interest communities where homeowners collectively pay fees to maintain the units 
or the neighborhood. HOAs are typically run by resident homeowners elected to a board of directors to oversee the homeowners um, HOA's management. Properties within an HOA are governed by a collective set of rules and bylaws, okay? An HOA can consist of individual houses, townhomes, high rises, or condos, okay? HOA fees um, often pay for the use of maintenance and they maintain the common areas such as the swimming pool, the parks, the lawn maintenance, some of them do snow removal, uh, routine maintenance, and um, anything that helps to upkeep the neighborhood and the look of the appearance, I should say, of the neighborhood, okay? Maintain its cleanliness, uniformity, and stabilize the property values, okay? So if all of that sounds great, then uh, why do people have a problem with HOAs? Well, listen, here are some insane HOA rules. An HOA ordered a 90-year-old veteran to remove an unapproved for a flagpole from his yard. A California man received monthly fees, foreclosure threats for planting an excessive number of rose bushes on his four acres of land. That legal battle cost this man $70,000. A woman was fined every time she walked her Cocker Spaniel through the lobby of a dog-friendly building. Why? Because the HOA bylaws required that all dogs be carried uh, through the lobby and not allowed to walk. An HOA uh, community sent or HOA sent letters to the community demanding that all of them mow their lawns on the same day and cut the, the uh, lawn at the same height in the same pattern to create uniformity in the neighborhood, right? So they wanted all of them to come out at the same time, cut the grass in the same pattern. Can you imagine? Okay, a couple was threatened with the fine for using black trash bags instead of white ones. Okay, a couple filed application to build a white picket fence on their property to prevent their five-year-old autistic son from hurting himself by running out of the yard and into the street, okay? After um, not receiving a response, they proceeded to install the fence, and the neighbors filed complaints and this caused the uh, couple to have a $500, I'm sorry, a $600 fine. Okay. A disabled veteran was told by an HOA member that he either had to remove his marine stickers from his car or they would send out a truck to have it towed away. The HOA regarded the stickers as a form of decal advertising. Okay, and they and it violated the rules because of that, okay? And so they wanted him to remove the stickers from his car, okay? A couple was fined for parking their car in the driveway overnight instead of inside of the garage, okay? A family was devastated to learn they, they had to get rid of their newborn puppies because of the HOA restrictions um, they put restrictions on the number of dogs that can be in each household, okay? So listen, HOA associations can be, or homeowner associations, I should say, can be serious business, okay? And more than 20% of U.S. households belong to an HOA, okay? So this is very, really, really important for you to know when you are buying a home, okay? Okay. What are, is there an HOA, first of all, and what are the rules of the community? These rules are called the Declaration of Covenants, Conditionings, and Restrictions. And as I've said before, HOAs can be different from one community to another. 
Okay, so here are some key points that you need to remember or to know about homeowner associations or HOAs. First of all, not every community have them, but some do. And again, you want to remember that HOAs can be in a single family home, townhomes, condos, or high rises, okay? But here are some key points, okay? After the buyer and the seller agrees on the contract, so you've been through the inspection, the appraisal, everything, after you agree on a contract and you say, yes, I'm going to buy this house, okay? The seller has three days to deliver the HOA documents to the buyer, okay? The buyer then has 10 days from receipt of the HOA and CCRs to decide whether or not he wants to move forward with the purchase or not, okay? You need to remember that HOAs are mandatory. The fees are, the monthly fees, I should say, are mandatory. So that's an additional expense for you. They are mandatory for you to pay and they can and will um, possibly enforce foreclosure, okay, if you don't pay those fines. And actually, there are a lot of other consequences to not paying the fines, such as it can make it difficult for you to sell. It can do something with the, or it can affect the uh, value of the condo. So there are a lot of consequences to not paying those HOA fees, okay? So your HOA fees are just as mandatory as the mortgage, okay? HOA fees can range from $25 and some may be even less than that. They can range from $25, let's just say for the sake of it, $25 to up to $1,200, okay? Depending on the amenities and the community expenses, okay? So y'all, some of y'all fall in love with the bells and the whistles, you know, the, the swimming pool, the, the fitness center, the sauna, the tan, some kind of Sometimes they have that tannin salon. You fall in love with those amenities, but sometimes you pay for those amenities, okay? So the HOA fees can vary in terms of the amount, and yes, they can increase, okay? HOA uh, fees, you want to remember that HOA fees exist to establish rules in the community and to protect your property value. Okay. So again, some people take HOAs very, very seriously. Um, the other thing is that, um, although there, and I know I've said this before, HOA, although they're typically HOA fees are with condos and townhomes, right? But you need to know that there are some single family, um, home communities that do have HOAs. So you want to ask that question up front. You don't want to get to the end of your transaction or when you're close to buying this um, this property and then discover there's an HOA fee and you don't agree with the rules, okay? So that should be one of the first questions you ask if you're against it or if you're not, is there an HOA fee, okay? Whether it's a single family condo or townhome, condos and condo homes are typical, but single family homes, some communities have HOAs and some don't, but you wanna ask, okay? So you can make an informed decision, okay? And I've already told you that high delinquency um, of HOA fees, it can affect the value, it can also, cause them to increase the monthly fees, okay? And again, it makes it difficult for buyers to secure the loan. So then it affects your resale, okay? So just keep that in mind. The other thing is that if your neighbors don't pay, um, then you may have to pitch in and pay. And I can guess that affects the um, increase in the fees, okay? So just, again, these are some things that you guys wanna keep in mind. Again, some people love HOAs. Some people hate them, okay? HOAs can control what you do and you do not do on your property. Now, I'm not talking about inside your property. I'm talking about outside your property. You know, for example, sometimes people want to work on the curb appeal of their home and maybe paint the home, paint the shutters. Those type of things is what an HOA will think about and consider even having a fence. Some communities don't allow fences. Sometimes they have to have some, uh, they have rules regarding what type of fence you put up there, okay? So these are, again, some things that you really, really need to consider, you know, whether or not you can live with the HOAs if they have one, okay? So again, 
Some people love HOAs and other people feel like it's a deal breaker, okay? And you determine that, okay? There are some pros and cons to HOAs, okay? I've already mentioned some of them that you could consider pros and cons, but for the most part, um, HOAs provide amenities, Okay, you don't have to always buy a swimming pool to put in your backyard because sometimes the HO or the community has a swimming pool. Okay, so that can be a pro to having an HOA because they will maintain that swimming pool for you. Okay, they reduce your responsibility in some ways. Okay, they help keep up the appearance of the neighborhood okay and that affects your resale value okay when neighbors when neighborhoods look good then it attracts a great buyer okay a high potential buyer okay they maintain the common areas okay so you wouldn't have to worry about that in terms of the pool the fitness center they maintain those areas the swimming pool for you okay another um pro about a hoa is that they can be a mediator okay when you're having a dispute with the neighbor like say for example a tree branch falls okay the hoa can help with that okay now some of the cons of being a part of the hoa is that they can foreclose on your home if you don't pay the fees okay if you're in a bind and you are not able to pay the fees, well, you can risk losing your home. And I think that's important to note, note because it is not um, optional. You have to pay your um, HOA fees or the consequence can be as serious as foreclosing on a home. Um, one company that I was working on, a home was being foreclosed on for $600, okay? So it is serious business. Another con of HOA is that they can spring up assessments or increase the fees on you, okay? So not only do you have to worry about this fee, but you have to worry about when are they going to increase it, if they're going to increase it, um, and for how much, okay? That's kind of like a, anyway. So anyway, another con of an HOA is that they may um, limit you from renting out your home. Uh, in other words, they may require it to be your primary residence instead of you renting it out to someone else, okay? Um, the other thing is some people feel that HOAs um, tie their hands and they don't allow them to do what they want to their properties, at least on the outside, okay? So they feel like they lose freedom, okay? So these are some things that you guys need to consider. And then also, listen, here's some questions that you need to ask before purchasing a home. If the home, is there an HOA fee? How much are the fees? How often and for how much are they increasing the fees annually? What specific services are covered? Are there any pet restrictions, such as the number of animals, the size of animals, the type of animals, and um, whether or not there are other breeds or other types of animals can be kept on your property. What about the noise ordinances? Are they a part of the community rules? Are there quiet hours in the evening? Are there restrictions against floodlights and motion sensors? Is this swimming pool, is there a, I'm sorry, is there a rule against swimming pools, personal swimming pools and backyard kitchens? Are there any restrictions regarding the number of children younger than 17 allowed in the residence? Do you allow security system? What are the CCCs? And as I stated before, the seller has three days to deliver the HOA documents um, to the buyer. They're called the Declaration of Covenants, Conditionings, and Restrictions, or CCRs. The seller has three days to deliver the HOA documents to the buyer after the contract has been ratified. In other words, both parties agreed to the contract. Now the seller has three days to get you that those HOA documents for you to review and make a decision about whether or not you want to move forward with this deal or if you want to stop it so you read your HOA documents if you don't agree with the HOA rules and bylaws this is your opportunity to say this is not going to work for me okay so again the seller 
has three days to deliver the documents, then the buyer has 10 days to make a decision about whether or not they want to move forward with this deal, whether or not they agree with the HOA CCRs. Now, let me just say, do not ever feel stuck in a transaction. Do not ever feel um, that you are obligated to buy this home, although you don't agree with the HOA bylaws. Let me tell you, the HOA bylaws are not going to change for you, okay? So you have 10 days to review this HOA CCR and to decide whether or not you want to move forward with this deal or not. Again, the HOA is not going to change on your behalf, okay? So you need to keep that in mind, review those documents in 10 days. You have 10 days to get it back to, um, to your agent um, and tell them whether or not you agree with this or you want to, you know, find another property. Okay. But you have 10 days. Okay. So just to recap, guys, HOA fees are mandatory. They are not option optional. <laughs> HOA fees can increase. Um, the rules are different from one community to another. So even though one HOA community may have had horrible rules, another HOA community may be more relaxed, okay? And the fees may be less, okay? So the HOA can be different from one community than another. The agent must provide you with the CC, uh, CCR or the homeowner declaration I'm sorry, the Declaration of Covenants and Conditionings and Restrictions. Now, understand in the bylaws. Now, understand that that's not optional. The agent has to provide you with the HOA, okay? It's not optional or there are serious consequences in terms of that deal not being, um, in terms of that deal, okay? So the agent must provide that to you for you to review and get back to them within 10 days, okay? Um, the other thing is before you buy a home in a neighborhood with an HOA, find out what the rules are. And again, that'll come from you reviewing those documents, okay? Understand that you are able to sit on the board of the HOA and you decide what the rules are for you and your community, okay? The other thing is, again, I'm going to say it one more time. The seller has three days to deliver the HOA documents to the buyer, um, the seller's agent, I should say, at which time the buyer has 10 days from receipt of those documents to review the HOA and CCR and decide whether or not he or she wants to move forward with that transaction. Okay, so listen, guys, thank you so much for listening. I really hope that this has been helpful. I'm Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title ex um, expert. And um Again, please like this, um, like this channel, down, download the um, episode. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave comments and listen, whether you're buying or selling a home, keep your head up, your hopes high, and remember that it is not over until the keys are exchanged. Have a blessed day. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a review. Also, don't forget to join us as we continue the conversation in the Diva Home and Lifestyle group on Facebook. Peace and blessings from our family to yours. We hope you'll tune in next time.